Hi everyone! Our lesson for today is about the indeterminate form of limits and we'll discuss it using this given example. So we have here the limit of 2x squared minus x minus 3 over 3x squared plus 5x plus 2 as x approaches negative 1. So applying the theorems that we discussed um, in our previous lesson, so this is limit of a uh, quotient. So we'll just distribute the limit into the uh, numerator and the denominator separately. Okay, by distributing it, we'll have the limit of 2x squared as x approaches negative 1 minus the limit of x as x approaches negative 1 minus the limit of 3 as x approaches negative 1 all over the limit of 3x squared as x approaches negative 1 plus the limit of 5x as x approaches negative 1 and the lim plus the limit of 2 as x approaches negative 1. Okay, so applying the theorems. So uh, in the numerator, we'll have uh, the limit of 2x squared as x approaches negative 1. So we'll have here 2 multiplied 2 negative 1 quantity squared. So next minus the limit of x as x approaches negative 1 so we'll have minus negative 1 then we have here uh, minus the limit of 3 as x approaches negative 1 so limit of a constant so it is equal to 3 so we'll write there minus 3 then all over we have here the limit of 3x squared as x approaches negative 1 so we'll have 3 multiplied 2 negative 1 squared plus the limit of 5x as x approaches negative 1 so we'll have uh, 5 since it's a constant multiplied to negative 1 so yung limit ng x yun and then plus the limit of 2 as x approaches negative 1 so it's a constant so we'll have here plus 2 simplifying this uh, given so we'll have here 2 multiplied 2 negative 1 squared negative 1 squared is equal to positive 1 right so positive 1 multiplied to 2 is equal to 2 then we have here minus negative 1 so we have here negative multiplied to a negative so it's it is a uh, positive so we will have positive 1 then minus 3 all over we have 3 multiplied to negative 1 squared again negative 1 squared is equal to 1 so 1 multiplied to 3 is equal to 3 then we have here 5 multiplied to negative 1 so we'll have here negative 5 and then plus 2 so simplifying this we'll have 2 plus 1 which is equal to 3 minus 3 which is equal to 0 all over 3 minus 5 which is equal to negative 2 then plus 2 which is equal to 0 so we have here a 0 over 0 and this is an indeterminate form so if you got an answer like this meaning to say you're going to find another way to solve the limit of the given function so earlier we tried finding the limit of this given function and hindi siya nag work so we got an indeterminate form so in finding another way since ito naman ay uh, yung numerator natin trinomial and yung denominator trinomial then so uh, we're going to try to find the factors of uh, this given function so let's try it so don't forget to write the limit so we'll have we still have the limit of, so, ano ba yung factors na meron si 2x squared minus x minus 3? Okay, so yung factors niya ay 2x minus 3 multiplied 2 x plus 1. And then, all over, so ano naman kaya yung factors ni 3x squared plus 5x plus 2? Okay, so the factors are 3x plus 2 times x plus 1. 
Still, as x approaches negative 1. Now, now you can see na we have here uh, x plus 1 over x plus 1 which is equivalent to 1 so we can cancel that out. So, ang kukunin na lang natin na limit so yung magiging function natin will be 2x minus 3 over 3x plus 2. So, yun na lang yung kukunin natin na limit. So, we'll have here the limit of 2x minus 3 over 3x plus 2 as x approaches negative 1. So, applying the limit of a quotient, so we'll have here the limit of 2x as x approaches negative 1 minus the limit of 3 as x approaches negative 1 all over the limit of 3x as x approaches negative 1 plus the limit of 2 as x approaches negative 1. Okay, so we'll have the limit of uh, 2x as x approaches negative 1, which is equal to 2 multiplied 2, negative 1, then minus the limit of the constant 3, so shy, 3, so minus 3, all over the limit of 3x as x approaches negative 1, so we'll have 3 multiplied 2, negative 1, then plus the limit of 2 as x approaches negative 1, so constant 2, two sha, so we'll have uh, 2. Okay, so simplifying this, we have 2 multiplied to negative 1, which is equal to negative 2, then minus 3, all over 3 multiplied to negative 1, which is equal to negative 3, plus 2. Okay, so simplify pa natin, negative 2 minus 3 is equal to negative 5, and negative 3 plus 2 is equal to negative 5. One. So, we have here negative 5 over negative 1, which can be simplified into, okay, so final answer is 5. So, we can say that 5 is the true limit of the given function, limit of 2x squared minus x minus 3 over 3x squared plus 5x plus 2 as x approaches negative 1. Let's now have the second example, the limit of x plus 5 over x cubed plus 125 as x approaches negative 5. Again, applying the, lim the theorems on limits we had on the previous lesson. So we'll have here the limit of x as x approaches negative 5 plus the limit of 5 as x approaches negative 5 over the limit of x cubed as x approaches negative 5 plus the limit of 125 as x approaches negative 5. Okay? Applying the limits. So, we'll have, we have here the limit of x as x approaches negative 5. So, we'll have here negative 5. Then, the limit of the constant 5. So, it is equal to 5. So, plus 5 over the limit of x cubed as x approaches negative 5. So, we'll have here negative 5, quantity raised to 3, then plus the limit of the constant 125. So, it is 125. So, simplifying this, we'll have negative 5 plus 5. So, we have 0 over negative 5 cubed, which is equal to uh, negative 125, then plus 125. Simplifying further, so we have 0 over negative 125 plus 125, which is also equal to 0. So again, we got another indeterminate form. So we're going to find another way again. Okay, so since we got an an indeterminate form earlier, so we're going to um, solve this in uh, another way. So let us uh, factor. Um, so sa numerator x plus five, so as is na yon. So pwede natin factor out yung x cubed plus one hundred twenty five. So factoring out uh, x cubed plus one hundred twenty five. So we have here a cube of 
a binomia. So, so sige, sulat muna natin. The limit of x plus 5. So, ano kaya yung factors ng x cubed plus 125? So, sabi ko nga sa inyo that you, you need to recall uh, how to factor. So, the factors for x cubed plus 125. So, we'll have here uh, x plus 5. So, we're just going to take the um, cube root of x cubed and the cube root of 125. So, that's why we got x plus 5. So, to find the other factor, so we need to square the first term of uh, x plus 5. So, we'll have here x squared then minus the, the product of uh, x and 5. So, we'll have 5x. And then, the, the, square, the square of 5. So, we'll have plus 25. Okay. As x approaches negative 5. Okay. So, uh, we can cancel out x plus 5 and x plus 5. So, since it is uh, equal to 1. So, and then, the function that we'll have will be the limit of 1 over x squared minus 5x plus 25 as x approaches negative 5. So, wag po kakalimutan yung 1 sa numerator. Okay, so we're going to find the limit of 1 over x squared minus 5x plus 25 as x approaches negative 5. Again, distributing the limit uh, over the numerator and the denominator. So we'll have here the limit of 1 as x approaches negative 5 over the limit of x squared as x approaches negative 5 minus the limit of 5x as x approaches negative 5 plus the limit of 25 as x approaches negative 5. Okay, solving for this, so for the numerator, we'll have the limit of 1, so it's a constant, so we'll have there 1 over the limit of x squared as x approaches negative 5, so we'll have negative 5 quantity raised to 2 minus the limit of 5x as x approaches negative 5, so we'll have here 5 multiplied to negative 5. Then plus the limit of 25 as x approaches negative 5, so it's a constant, so we'll have positive 25. Okay, simplifying this, so we'll have... A 1 over negative 5 raised to 2 is equal to positive 25. Then we have negative 5 multiplied to negative 5. So we'll have positive 25 and then plus 25. Simplifying further, we'll have here 1 over 25 plus 25 plus 25 which is equal to 75. So 1 over 75 is the true limit of the given function. Let's have this third example. So we have the limit of x minus 4 over square root of x minus 2 as x approaches 4. So let's try solving this. So we'll have, uh, we'll have, we're going to distribute the limit. We'll have here the limit of x as x approaches 4 minus the limit of 4 as x approaches 4 over the limit of square root of x as x approaches 4 minus the limit of 2 as x approaches 4. Okay, solving this. So, sa numerator muna tayo, limit of x as x approaches 4, so we'll have there 4. Then minus the limit of 4, con the constant 4 as x approaches 4, so it is 4 over the limit of the square root of x as x approaches 4. So, recall natin yung sa square root. So, we're going to find the limit no x doon. Then, saka natin extra. So, we'll have here the square root of 4 minus the limit of 2 as x approaches 4. So, it is 2. Okay. 
Uh, simplifying this, we'll have 4 minus 4, which is equal to 0, over the square root of 4, which is equal to 2 minus 2. And then, so we'll have 0 over 2 minus 2, which is equal to 0. Again, we got, a, we got an indeterminate form. So, let's try another solution. Okay, to solve this, we need to rationalize the uh, denominator since meron tayong square root doon. And sa pag-rationalize ng denominator, ganito yung gagawin natin. So, copy the function. So, we have x minus 4 over the square root of x minus 2. Okay, so sa pag-rationalize, we're going to multiply this whole function sa um, inverse or opposite operation ng nasa denominator. So, kasi yun yung nila-rationalize natin. So, since meron tayo ditong subtraction, so yung opposite niya is addition. So, we'll have to, we're going to multiply this to the square root of x plus 2 over the square root of x plus 2. So, ganun, ka, ganun, ganun po kapag nag-rationalize natin. In case na ang given ay uh, square root of x plus 2, so we're just going to multiply it sa inverse niya, which is square root of x minus 2. So, tatandaan, whole function yung imumultiply natin. Then, uh, proceeding with this, so we're just going to multiply numerator to numerator and denominator to denominator. So, we'll have x minus 4 multiplied to the square root of x plus 2 over the square root of x minus 2 multiplied to the square root of x plus 2. Let's simplify. So, as islang muna natin yung numerator, x minus 4 multiplied to square root of x plus 2 over Square root of x multiplied to square root of x will have square root of x, quantity raised to 2. Then square root of x times positive 2, so positive square, 2 square root of x. Then negative 2 times square root of x, so negative 2 square root of x. And then lastly, negative 2 times positive 2, so we'll have negative 4. Okay, simplifying this one. So, again, copy lang yung nasa numerator. So, x minus 4 multiplied to square root of x plus 2 over, so, yung unang term natin sa trinomial sa denominator. So, we have square root of x quantity raised to 2. So, it is equal to x. And then, we have positive square root of x minus 2 square root of x. So, Cancel out since it will be equal to 0. And then we still have uh, minus 4. So now, uh, we can cancel out x minus 4 sa numerator and sa denominator since it will be equal to 1. So, ang matitira na lang is square root of x plus 2. So, ito na yung hahanapan natin ng limit. So, we'll have the limit of square root of x plus 2 as x approaches 4. Okay, so we're going to distribute the limit. So distributing will have the limit of square root of x as x approaches 4 plus the limit of 2 as x approaches 4. Okay, applying the theorems on limits, so we'll have here the square root of 4 Plus, so limit of a constant again, so we'll have 2. Okay, simplifying further, so we'll have the square root of 4, which is equal to 2. Then we still have plus 2, which is equal to 4. And this is the true limit for the given function.